Right guys, so I went to Made for Arcade and I recorded a couple of videos and I was really curious how this mini grain cover claw machine was basically like looking and how does it play and what can we do with it. They are absolutely cute and I just want to have one in my collection so <laughs> I brought one home. <laughs> Alright guys, it's awesome that you're tuning in, because in this video we are going to take a close look at the Made for Arcade, We Build, You Play, Crate Machine. And I love myself Crate Machines, but I don't like to play them when it's our like an arcade hall. I just want to have one at home, because it's so much fun. So let's adjust the knife and let's open this bad boy up, because it's going to be freaking epic. I'm always like kind of afraid, like how are these things coming at your home, but I can tell you these things are like packed up very well also the cabinet itself is not made out of wood or something that is quite let's say difficult to transport everything is made out of let's say especially like this metal case that we have seen before with pandora's boxes i can go all rambo but we're just going to slide it out like this no problem whatsoever always be very careful with it all right, so we finally got this bloody thing out of the box because it was like 25 kilograms, so it was not a very easy task. Let's remove all of the foam and let's see and inspect. That's the first thing that we need to do, inspect there any damage. The top part or the topper is made out of very thick plastic, so we need to double check if there's no damage whatsoever. So it would be a bummer if it has been having some scratches or other problems. All right, so now let's on the... Oh boy, let's remove this bloody thing. That's going to be even like the biggest challenge. Let's put it at the side over here and let's remove it. All right, so let's get this thing ready. Let's get the keys and let's open it up. And there we have like the toilet paper manual, like always. Oh, Made for Arcade had made his own manual that was way better than this Mini Crane 2 generation thing. But over here we see like a lot of zipper ties. And the reason why, because we need to remove all of them. Be very gentle. I use this very tiny tool. Otherwise, it's like very difficult to get these things loose. And again, like they tightened it up very gently and very well. But let's remove it. Oh yeah, this is absolutely wicked chisel. Let's get these things loose. Oh boy, this is really a pain in the ass to get these things out. Let's be very gentle that we don't go to damage anything like the wheels. And let's remove the last zipper for the main rails. And that's it. All right, so let's close it back up and let's inspect this bucket over here so we can remove it this is basically the coin collector and also find the cable all right so let's get the cable and we plug in this bloody thing next thing that we need to do is get the coin mechanism out because we need to set it up for the coin that we're going to use i got these special made for arcade coins that we need to implement in this machine i got like a bag of them i think like a 30 30 piece or something like that are you going to get with the machine so we need to plug this thing in and basically what you're going to do over here is like slide this thing at the back and then basically like slide in the coin so we know exactly what kind of measurements we're going to need or that this thing basically going to accept so that's basically what you need to do first right that's it to show a little bit off camera but this is basically the way how it needs to be assembled what i understand of okay so now it knows what kind of coins that we need let's put this thing back in and let's plug it in and let's power it on and let's start playing and messing around with it. So I was with the action store over here and I grabbed all kinds of products. I was thinking, hmm, what can we put in the claw machine? Man, it's so exciting doing this. But I was more like, what can we grab and what's actually like fun to do? So we got this tiny plush from Made of Arcade. I'm saying these things are like super easy to grab. Like if you're going to put them on 48 voltage, the claw itself, it's going to be like always priced. The joystick feels like a very nice long travel joystick and I really like it. Then of course the claw machine can also be adjusted so for the speed itself that we're going to take a close look at later. Another thing is like when you're going to grab it, let's show you like it's going to be quite a challenge if you didn't tinker with the settings. Over here we do have like the playtime, how many coins we basically entered and this thing has been set to free play because that is also possible. But let's open it up and there is this tiny button at the back. It's very difficult to film for you guys but you can see it underneath over there. There's also an on and off switch so if you can turn it on and off very quickly at the front. So here we do have like all the settings, here's going to be interesting, there have like the way how many coins you need to put in for the game, the time to play, the volume of these freaking annoying music. 
The downside is you cannot really like set the music to zero. So we need to remove the freaking speaker. Okay, so we have like free to play over here. So we're going to set it off language, different kind of music you can choose basically on the background. So when it's basically machine is standing doing nothing and playing, I have like two different songs. Then we have like different like settings over here. And I must say like when you're looking at the settings and the way everything you can basically set is absolutely crazy. And I think that is one of those appealing things to the machine. You can always just like just put it on there. But nevertheless, let's take a close look at the voltage of the claw. I've set it to 84 volts and it's basically like the strongest thing you can do. So the question remains, what can we basically grab with this claw and how can we adjust it to the perfect setting? So I set it to, let's say you can always basically like have one coin and you can just grab everything on the best voltage. No like cheesing stuff going on. We have been messing around with it for some time now and I've noticed when you're going to put in a little bit lower settings it's going to be like almost impossible to grab something. This is 5 volt, you can see it doesn't even move so this setting is absolutely like pointless. But I just wanted to see what happens when you're going to be like going up to the 20s. There we go, like getting a little bit more tension on the claw itself. But I'm just going to put it on 48. Yeah, absolutely. This is way better. Otherwise, it's pointless to play. So I tried a couple of products that I grabbed and I was more like, okay, what kind of products can you grab easily? I think there's the Ruby cubes and the dice over here with the cool light inside. I think it's not going to be a problem. So uh, what I'm going to show you over here. So this is basically the claw machine with not a lot of tension to it. So you can still grab a plush, but it's going to be quite difficult what you can see over there. So there we have like the claw machine and the Rubik's Cube, but you can see like nothing happens. Okay, so let's put it all the way up to 40 volts. And later on, we're going to put it on the maximum just for fun. All right, so let's put it on 40 and let's try again. So you can see like it's working way better now. Okay, so the cube can still be grabbed, but I think like with 40, it's still like going to be in quite a challenge because it's going to be shaking. It's going to be difficult. The tiny car can be grabbed, but you can see like you need to put it in a certain position, otherwise it's impossible. But these boxes are way too big. You can see like the craw doesn't have enough grip. Maybe you can add some grip to the points, like a rubber grips, to make it a little bit easier, but without it's absolutely impossible. Also another thing is like getting your prices. If you're going to have too much, or better said you have like too big of a prices, this thing is going to be stuck. <laughs> All right, so the car in general, like I have set it to 48, like a voltage and I must say like trying to get the car now just want to show you what happens if you're going to put it under the maximum voltage because that is going to be the biggest challenge here we have like more settings basically rope length like AI mode you can even like if you want to navigate the car it's put to fastest but you can even put it in the middle that's something I'm going to do and you even have like some things you can mess around with the release. There are so many different settings to this tiny claw. I okay, so the next thing that we need to do is going to the account. I just wanted to show you this. So here you can basically check how many coins have been entered, how many prizes have been given away. So you can basically double check everything over here. All right, so let's turn this thing on and off or better said off and on because we need to basically check it out and let's test it out. So let's see if we can grab the car and I've been basically trying to get it a couple of times but it is very difficult to grab especially when you don't put it on 48 voltage but let's grab let's say a plush and these things are those super squishy and super easy to grab so that works absolutely great okay so also when it comes to getting the toy these things are super easy to get out of okay so next up let's take a close look where we're going to get these things and yeah you can see like the Rubik's Cube did have some problems, but I've shown you before. Okay, so beside having like the perfect gift inside that this tiny clock and grab, it's also like necessary to put it on the 48 voltage. And again, like I should like add some rubber over here to get a little bit better grip because some of these things are absolutely almost impossible to grab. Okay, so, so I've been playing and messing with this thing. I personally really love doing this because it's so much fun having a claw machine in my collection. But I've been messing like to see like how good and how bad this thing is when it comes to grabbing stuff. Like the plush is no problem. I also like removed this tiny, let's say, piece of styrofoam with some plush. I really like what they did. Another thing that's really damn cool to put in the machine is like these tiny bags of like candy. These things can be grabbed fairly easy. But beside like that is going to be like a 48 volts of the claw you need to have like the claw in the perfect position if you didn't have this it's going to be still quite difficult so this is basically how it works with this machine i already tried to 
grab the candy and i can tell you when you're putting the claw in the perfect position this is more like pure skill here you can see like it grabs it without any hassle or sometimes it will let it go so it's kind of nasty but i think like it's pretty damn cool it gives a little bit more of a challenge when it comes to playing with this tiny machine the last part I want to check out is the settings. If you have any problem with the machine, you can do like a factory reset, but also get into the factory settings where you can adjust the claw. Is everything working properly? If you have any problems whatsoever. But let's talk about the lighting. I must say, I really love the topper of this thing. It definitely like this RGB lighting at the outside. Then we have like very nice and very bright lights on the inside. And the overall design of the cabinet is very slim. I personally really like it. But the question is like, can we get basically the base? Because there was a base manufacturer for this thing. I understand of, let's say, the seller that this base is absolutely expensive. Maybe I can pick one up secondhand or somewhere. Nevertheless, I must say the way how this thing works and how everything needs to be configured before you're going to play is quite easy if you know, of course, what you want to do. Playing around is going to be absolutely a lot of fun for yourself and for people around you. There we have like the center that you can see over there. Basically that dedicates when there is a prize and we'll put it on the list of prizes. At the back we can remove basically the back panel and here we find a piece of plywood that has been assembled to the metal and here we find the power supply in general so the power supply over here you can found replace it fairly easy if you need to do that for maintenance or maybe for if you want to have like a different one and also at the back here we can find the pcb or basically like the control board for controlling everything and that's the only thing that we're going to find in the inside Alright guys, so I filled up the machine with candy and all kinds of stuff, but I can tell you like the candy, like the more like the flat based candy and the long ones are absolutely impossible to get. So that's something I just wanted to check out too, just to see what kind of candy we can put in. So we are limited when it comes to certain like toys or basically candy to put in the machine. So that is something you need to take consideration. Sometimes it's going to be impossible to grab some things. It's going to be great for filling, but in the end, if you want to play this, it's a little bit of a bummer. So I just wanted to show you how you need to set it up, how you need to basically prepare for playing. But also, you just need to check it out, like what can we actually play with this. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and let's play a little bit with the claw machine. Because I filled it up now, and oh boy, I have some cool toys in it.